On this week's Xamarin Essentials API of the Week, I'm going to introduce you to Phone Dialer. So if you're building apps where your users need to make a phone call, tune in. Welcome back, everyone, to another Xamarin Essentials API of the Week. Today, we're going to take a look at Phone Dialer. That's right. It's an API that allows you to launch the Phone Dialer, pre-populated with a phone number for your users to call. This is great if you're building an application like an employee directory or a business application or contact customer support. Your users now can tap one button and launch a phone dialer to automatically call. So you don't have to copy and paste your phone number around. So let's head over to Visual Studio to see how easy it is to integrate with Xamarin Essentials. Here I am inside of our end all be all app essentials application that I use for all Xamarin Essentials API of the week. I've installed Xamarin Essentials into all of my projects, iOS, Android, and my .NET standard library. And the only other thing that I've done is ensure that we have our setup code in our Android project. It's the only one that needs a little bit more scaffolding. Here we add an initialization call, and then also some permissions. Now, the Phone Dialer API is super simplistic, and we can emulate it here by having maybe an entry and then a button that we tap to dial it. So you don't need to have like the entry. You might already know your phone number that you want to dial, but here we're just going to enter it, and then we can go ahead and um, call the API. So let's go into our code. The first thing that we're going to do is add this using statement using Xamarin Essentials. That'll give us all of the Xamarin Essentials APIs. You could, of course, come in and type in xamarin.essentials. And that's going to give you all of the APIs that are in Xamarin Essentials here. Um, but since we already have it, we can just simply say phone dialer dot. And there's a single API that you can call that takes in a phone number. Now, because of how the phone dialers work, you'll need to pass it a phone number. You can't automatically start a call. You can't open it without it. You have to set it here. And that's just how each of the phone dialers work um, on iOS, Android, and Windows. So let's go ahead and pass it a phone number. We'll say entry number dot text. Now, if anything goes wrong here, for instance, we can't parse the phone number, they enter nothing, we'll probably want to go ahead and capture this in a try catch block. Um, because that's what will happen. It'll throw an exception if something is malformed. So we can say EX, we can see what's going on. And then we could do something like, you know, display um, an alert that says, um, let's see here, like uh, unable to make call. Um, please enter a number. Number. There we go. And then we'll say OK. There we go. So this way, we'll try to make the phone call. If something goes wrong, we'll display an error to our user. That's it. Literally one line of code. Try catching our exceptions just to make sure they entered a correct phone number. It's kind of important um, just to make sure because you can typo easily on a phone. Um, and then it'll go ahead and launch it. The other important reason to try catch there is your users might be on a tablet. There may not be a phone dialer application. So let's take a look over here at what happens. I'm screen mirroring my phone. Now our application is launched, so let's go into the phone dialer. Here we can just enter a phone number. So let's enter 1-555-555-5555. A nice default uh, phone number, but it's correctly laid out in phone number form. And when I hit dial, this is going to say complete using what action? Android specifically can have multiple phone dialers. Here it's between phone and Skype. Now, once your user selects one, that will go ahead and be their default. So different Android devices work a little differently. On iOS, this will just launch the phone dialer and it'll handle it from there. So let's go ahead and hit phone. And now it'll be taken into the phone dialer that we've selected, pre populated with the phone number, and then the users can make a phone call. And that's it. It's that simple to use the phone dialer from your application. It's a single line of code. It launches it, and your users are ready to go. Hope that you enjoyed this Xamarin Essentials API of the week and all of them. So make sure you subscribe to get updated on both Channel 9 and YouTube. So until next time, thanks for watching. I'm James, and have a great day. Hey, it's James. I'm just checking in and wanted to thank you for watching this awesome Xamarin Essential API of the week. Now, don't forget to do all the things, such as like, subscribe, and ding that notification bell for even more videos. 
And while you're here, check out more Xamarin Essential API videos of the week. They're all right here. Go do it right now. It's awesome.